Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Isaac, his truck 96 4Runner, 5 ZF V6 engine, 3.4 liter, awesome engine. 280,000 miles on the clock. We did the valve covers. I did valve covers. He was at school. That's good. Everything is taken care of. All the old spark plugs, it's out. We supposed to install those nice twin tip densos and new wires. Before we will do that, we will use this great opportunity and access. Finally learn about the compression on this engine at 280,000 miles. So we went ahead, we removed the 15 amp fuse, which says EFI, electronic fuel injection, because we don't want the pump pushing the fuel and spraying it in the cylinders while we are measuring that compression. I have already in the cylinder number one, I have their adapter prepared screw in. Let's go ahead. Finally tell him what is compression on his engine. So we didn't talk about it yet. You will go ahead and start turning the vehicle like you will be starting it, right? And I will yell at you stop, right? Because it will probably make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I will be screaming stop because my gauge will stop moving, it will be not growing anymore, and you will just stop cranking it, okay? You can remove the key out or whatever. So I'm hooking finally to the adapter the gauge. I believe everything was removed from here. And you can go ahead, Isaac. Yeah, you can start cranking it. incredible 220 psi on the cylinder number one can you write it down for us so we don't have to do that and then just tell us yeah i will write it here number one 220 psi what do you say isn't that good for 280,000 miles i like that so I will continue number three. So we are not jumping from one side of the engine on the other. I have it set. You can go ahead, Isaac. Done. And we have 215 PSI in the cylinder number three. I still love that. And you can watch with me, hopefully you can see it at least a little bit, how that gauge will be pumping on the number 5. Let's go Isaac! Stop. And it's a 205 PSI on number 5 cylinder. You all know that now comes the scary part because we have misfires recorded after he bought the vehicle it was a number six then it moved to the number four so now comes at least for me i'm scared for him we will watch the compressions on this bank we will start with number two that should be good compression no matter what because there were never any misfires Go ahead, Isaac. Enough. Thank you. And it stopped. It stopped pulsing. I hope you can see it at 220. It's exactly 220 PSI. So I'm going to write it down. Here you can see how we continue. So I release the pressure. Then I can disconnect the gauge. 
the reason I'm disconnecting it that it's easier for me to manipulate this rubber extension hose and catch the thread on the bottom especially right here there's a bunch of stuff already because I installed everything back so I'm feeling it carefully and now it stopped turning so that rubber gasket it's seated now you guys really cross fingers this is the moment we had misfires on number four obviously we ask you what shall we do with this many of you said hey bro you need a compression check for him of course we agree with you so Isaac do a little prayer and go for it go for the Isaac is lucky boy, lucky boy, he has the biggest compression on number four, incredible 220 or 225, so we will have not the problem on the number four because of the compression or blown head gasket or something. We didn't see any of these problems. Some of you said, hey, there was missing coolant. I'm concerned. Well, you know how it is, my friend. He just brought it. The previous person never put any coolant. So we put it to the F. And when he came back today, it's still on the F. So the coolant is not disappearing. And number four has 220 or more likely I should write down 225 PSI. Great news for our young master Isaac and last but not least number six down there it's hooked and I brought you closer so you can really see how it's pulsating or how it's coming up go for it Isaac Enough. and look at this guys this is exactly 220 again Basically the 4 and 6, I wasn't sure if it was 225 or 220, but I will say they are identical. I'm not worried anymore that this engine has a bad compression. We just saw it all together. And the problem with misfires was most likely the spark plug or the wires which were full of oil and you saw it in the previous video. Incredible, excellent. I'm so happy for him. So we fully appreciate you crossing fingers for him because these numbers, if you look at it, it's so close. There is a minimum variance between the cylinders. You heard the numbers. This is absolute perfection for such an old engine. I'm completely impressed. I'm very happy and thank you for being with us and helping. So. We will finish the work on it today so he can drive home. And for you, thank you one more time and stay tuned. We have way more coming your way soon. Have a nice weekend, my friend. Isaac seems to be excited because after a little warm up, look for yourself and listen to the whispering of the 5 ZFE. I have a scanner hook to it, so the idle is like 715 with the AC off, otherwise we will hear the cycling of the compressor and the RPM will be coming up and down, but perfectly settled. It's cooling like a kitten, right? Yeah, it's a little snow, but that's, that's just the oil. Uh-huh, there was a droplet of the oil on this side, on the exhaust shield. So that smoke for what? One minute maybe? One 30 minute. seconds? And that's all gone. So we are happy campers. Thank you for sticking around guys. See ya. So just to have a conclusion of this situation, Isaac was reporting that the engine was shaking sometimes for him and then he had a check engine light. 
which first started with misfire on number six, then it moved to the four. We discovered old spar plugs and the wires, they were flooded by engine oil from leaking valve cover gaskets. So just to make it absolutely clear for everybody, that was the cause. The bad wires, flooded wires and all that oil was causing misfires. The engine is healthy and running perfectly smooth and nicely again. See ya!